This is the all new M.2 enclosure from Dockcase that actually shows you the life expectancy of your current drive. But I want to take a second and show you how to install an M.2 in this guy. On the back, we have a heat sink backplate. What we're going to do is start by just removing this tiny little screw right here. I promise you the hardest part of this entire process is actually putting that little itty bitty screw back in. Inside of the heat sink backplate, we also have a thermal pad. That's actually a non-stick thermal pad, so you're not going to leave any sort of residue on your M.2 when you do put it in. Now, right in here, I do just have a Gen 1 WD Black. So we're going to take that out and show you what it looks like once you actually insert it. So there we go. Now, this does fit pretty much every version of M.2 all the way from 2230 all the way up to 2280. Now, you see those little prongs there? We got the small one and then the big prong. I'm going to line that up with the insert here, and you're going to hear a little click. Once you hear that click, you then have an M.2 that looks like that. What you're going to do is push this side down. Now, here's the hard part. You ready? Just trying to get this tiny little screw to line up. Okay, wait, wait. Did I get it second try? Dude, second try. That counts. That counts as a first try. Now, since we got this open and in here, I kind of want to show a couple things. One, you see this massive capacitor right here? That's going to help regulate the voltage when you are doing large data transfers. But not just that, it actually works as a reserve battery backup. So if you are doing any sort of data transfer and the power were to go out, the device you're using is short, shorts, anything like that, that capacitor is going to kick on so that it doesn't fry the drive and stops any sort of data corruption that may be going on. Now, this is a 3.2 USB-C cable. And honestly, I really got to say, I love that little 90s vibe. Now, in case you're curious at why you would need an M.2 enclosure, essentially think of it like a thumb drive, just better in every way. These are faster, upgradable, and protect the data better. If you've ever tried to move like a terabit of data over to a thumb drive, that can take days. Something like this running at 10 gigabits per second cuts that time down by, oh my gosh, like a factor of like 10. So if you've been looking for a safe, secure, and fast way to store any of your data, the M.2 enclosure from Dot Cases might be what you're looking for. I'm going to link this in the bottom left so you can check it out for yourself, but you might want to hurry while it's on these huge holiday sales.